Ralph 2 is now in theaters. So we are going to make our own Vanellope Fangirl using Snow White. We are going to give her a made-to-move Barbie body. I think she is going to be a pretty close match. Everyone, say it with me. Off with her head. It's my favorite part of it all. The operation was a success. Snow White's skin tone matches the body pretty good. And I think she's adorable. Let's find her something to wear. Since we are Disney bounding, we can take some creative liberties. So Vanellope wears teal and brown with little touches of pink. Nice little candy theme. So let's look through Barbie's closet for something that might work. We found this light teal party dress. I think we can make it work. What about a brown jacket? Doesn't look like we have one of those. So let's make one. I've got a faux suede here. It's kind of a milk chocolate color. A while back, I took a kin jacket. I took it apart at the seams to make a pattern. Place it onto the fabric. Trace around it. Cut them out. These two pieces are for the front and this is for the back. Using a sewing machine, I sew them together at the shoulder. Then the sleeves. Cut rectangles of fabric. Fold them in half. Flip the jacket over, take the folded rectangle, line up the raw edges on the sleeve, sew a line straight across, then flip it over to make the cuff. With the good side facing up, fold the jacket in half, lining up the raw edges, sew a straight stitch from the end of the sleeve to the bottom. Flip it right side out. I'm gonna make a few modifications. I'm going to take it in on the sides and shorten it a little. After taking it in, fold over and hem the sides. Sew a loose stitch along the bottom edge. Gently pull one string to gather. Sew a folded rectangle onto the gathered edge to give the bottom a nice edge. Cut a rectangle, lay it good side facing down, place the neck of the jacket at the edge, and sew a straight line. Fold it over to make a collar and finish the jacket. So we have the teal and the brown. It's just missing something. Let's shorten the dress. I fold it under and stitch it in place. Cute! Add pink Barbie accessories like a belt around the waist to represent the little touches of pink in Vanellope's sweatshirt. Give her a pink watch. Pull her hair up into a ponytail. Add a pink Barbie headband. Give her a pair of pink headphones. Bring color to the jacket by sewing on beads. To represent the candy Vanellope has in her hair. Take a white t-shirt that's been turned inside out. Place it around the bottom of her leg. Trace around it. Sew on the line drawn. Trim off the excess. To make socks. Use fabric markers to add stripes. To make teal, I'm using a light blue marker. Then add a light green on top. Add a purple stripe on one. Put on a pair of our DIY Uggs. Make a candy purse using our DIY purse video to make a Vanellope inspired fangirl. Now let's make her a place to hang out. Let's make her a room using a recycled cereal box. I start by taking a large cereal box and cutting it down one side. Remove the tabs to make the foundation of our room. But I would like for it to be a little larger. Trace one side onto a piece of cardboard. Cut it out. Cut out a window. Cover the edges with paper. Cover the box with scrapbook paper. For the additional wall, place it on the back of the box. Wrap the paper over the edge and glue it in place. To connect the walls, I made some printables that look like Vanellope's tights. Glue it onto the lower half of the wall. Add a little white trim to finish the room. Cut rectangles of foam board and remember to always have adult supervision when crafting. Glue craft foam to the top and bottom to make a sandwich. Make three. Glue beads between them to make a shelf. Let's add something to the top of the walls. Using white glue sticks, make trim that looks like icing. Make a paper tube and wrap it with red paper. Glue it to the wall. 
I found these artificial lollipops at the craft store. I am going to glue them onto the wall. Cut two rectangles of brown fabric. Lay them good side to good side. Sew around the edge. Leave an opening so it can be turned inside out. Add fluff. Use a needle and thread or a sewing machine to sew a design so it looks like a mattress and flattens it out. Make another brown one and a white one. Stack them to make a large ice cream sandwich. Use puff paint to add sprinkles to the walls. And let's add a few puffy stickers. Glue together more craft foam and foam board. Glue it to the wall to make a shelf where we can store candy from previous videos, small toys like Shopkins, and other accessories. Cut poster board, cover with scrapbook paper to make a floor. And remember to cover the recess inside the box. Place the giant ice cream sandwich right under the lollipops. Add a few squishies. I found this Fix-It Felix Jr. video game at Walmart. And we're gonna place that right against the wall. We found this miniature Vanellope at Target. This fully articulated Vanellope was at the Disney store. It comes with Vanellope and two other characters that we can display around the room. There is even a poster on the side of the packaging. Cut the pictures from the back of the box. Glue beads around the edge to make a framed picture. Cut fleece to use as a throw and complete our Vanellope fangirl room. That is perfect for our custom doll. I think she needs just one more thing. Take chalk pastels and lightly brush the tip of her nose. There, perfect. Thank you for joining us while we made our custom Vanellope fangirl and room. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and you're done happy crafting Give a shout out to Seven Sis Squad. What's up? Hello, Disney Store. I need that Vanellope talking action figure. Oh, and the pajama set. Throw in a Ralph breaks the internet reusable tote. What? It's a total necessity. I'm saving the world. I also need the small Vanellope plush, the puddles plush. Don't forget Fun Bun and the Pancake and Milkshake Light Up Journal. And throw in a complete set of Ralph Breaks the Internet Mystery Figures Series 1. Don't judge, these are all necessities.